Greg Pickle, it's Penn State prediction time. Penn State at Rutgers Saturday night prime time in Piscataway. What, what where else would be you better? rather be what than Piscataway be on a Saturday night? <laughs> um, as we as we tape this, Penn State is a four touchdown favorite, every bit of twenty eight. Yep. But the number that always interests you and I is the total. That's right. You over better. Yep. This one is fifty seven and a half. So how do you see this one playing uh, out? I really went back and forth on this because that's a big number. I mean, Penn State's not been a team that has always played well on the road. It has this year. It's not a team that has always put up a lot of points against inferior opponents. It has this year. I have a 45-14 Penn State. I think that the Lions go into Piscataway. Maybe they struggle early, but you look at this Rutgers team. They don't do really anything well. I think Penn State will eventually be able to yeah. make that weakness uh, pretty glaring. I think that you know they have a Harrisburg guy, Rob Martin, at running back, who mm-hmm. they've kind of used off and on this year, who maybe can get some traction. But they're a mess at quarterback. They're a mess on defense, and it's a comfortable Lions win. Yeah, I mean, the question you have to ask is how many points is Rutgers going to score? Right. I mean, Michigan went in there and it was just a bloodletting. Yeah. Uh, they scored seven at home against, I think, I believe, Iowa, and seven at home against, I think, Illinois in yeah. losses. So, I mean, when you're talking about the total and the spread, I think you have to factor in, well, is Rutgers going to, how much of a threat are they going to be? I think Penn State's defense is pretty healthy. They're pretty deep. And I think they're going to be able to control the game until the offense gets rolling if there's some issues on the offensive line. Yeah. They scored 40-plus three games in a row. It could be a struggle, I think, Greg, you're right, to get to that total. I'm going to say 50-13 to 13, uh, Penn State, but it's a shaky call for them to get to 50 because yeah. of the injury situation. They might want to get some rest for some other guys for the Michigan State game. I'm talking about Saquon Barkley and even Trace McSorley. So I think they'll have the game in control late. The question is, will they score late enough? To get to the total. I got it 50 to 13. You have it? 45-14. All right. 